This week on The Wire, lack of supply to push prices, lending rises as rules ease and tax cuts to double growth. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator. Welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate and investment. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now our top story this week, lack of supply to push prices. So an imbalance between supply and demand is set to spur property price growth of up to 20% in the next few years and this is according to new research. Insurance group QBE, their Australian Housing Outlook 2019 to 22, report forecast house price growth in all major capital cities. Now according to QBE, Brisbane is set to experience the sharpest rise in house prices of 20% over the three years to 22. Of the major capitals, Perth is expecting 6% growth, followed by Sydney at 6% and Melbourne at 5. Of the major capitals, unit values are projected to rise sharpest in Perth at 5%, followed by Melbourne at 4% and Brisbane at 3. Now QBE Lenders Mortgage Insurance CEO Phil White says the growth will come in response to a supply and demand imbalance. Building approvals fell 19% in 1819 and completions are forecast to fall further by 2021 and that's down 22% on the five year average. That's well below underlying demand, he says. So moving on to our next story, lending rises as rules ease. So improved access to finance and lower interest rates are helping households get into real estate with the number of new loans in July rising 4% to over $32 billion. Now this is the second successive month in which the value of lending has increased. Lending to owner occupiers, and this is excluding refinancing, rose 5.3% in July, and that's what the new ABS data shows. Refinancing of existing home loans increased by 5.4% with homeowners seeking the best value for money as lenders compete by offering attractive deals. RateCity.com.au research director Sally Tyndall says the stars are starting to align for borrowers, lower interest rates, tax cuts, and more relaxed serviceability measures. This is the first month that factors in APRA's axing of its 7% serviceability floor, she says, and it's likely that part of the bounce can be attributed to this and we expect it to continue to have a positive effect on the market. CoreLogic's head of research, Tim Lawless, says, we haven't seen monthly numbers of this magnitude since 2016 for investors and 2015 for owner occupiers. All the stimulus flowing through the marketplace is now starting to show up in credit flows. So now our final story for the week, tax cuts to double growth as <laughs> tax cuts to double growth. A strong rebound in consumption due to the faster rollout of the federal government's $7.8 billion in tax relief will almost double the economic growth in the September quarter. And this is according to Global Bank UBS. UBS analysis George Therano and Carlos Cacho say they expect the tax cuts will boost retail and other consumption. This will help GDP to jump 0.8% in the September quarter and 0.6% in the December quarter, and that's up from 0.5% in the June quarter, and deliver overall economic growth of 2.4% for the 2019 calendar year. The tax cuts will boost retail sales in the 2020 financial year with a temporary spike in September and October to 5% growth in annual terms. We assume about half the tax refunds are spent on retail, another 20% on consumption, the UBS analyst says. Now the analysts noted a considerably faster rollout of the tax cuts, delivered through a doubling of the low and middle income tax offset worth $1,080 to most households. Now the ADO has issued more than 5.5 million tax refunds for 2019, totaling more than $14 billion of which more than half is the tax offsets. So pretty much guys, that's that from me. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail for our Just Ask Tim video series, then there's a link in the post. Now stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you want to sit and submit a question or there's a, a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, then just get straight onto the link. Have a great week guys and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, action.